on this episode of Canine Corner, we'll be talking about how to have an extra special Easter with your dog. We'll check out National Adoption Weekend at our local PetSmart store. Plus, we'll introduce you to this adorable little guy who's looking for a forever home. All this coming up right now on Canine Corner. I'm Rhiannon Trutanich, your host for Canine Corner, the show that your dog will give two paws up. We have a great show for you today. We'll stop by PetSmart and check out National Adoption Weekend and hippity hop, Easter's on its way. My co-host Popeye Cottontail will be joining me to share some ways to celebrate Easter with your canine companion. But first, let's meet adorable rescue dogs from Love Bugs Rescue. So Love Bugs Rescue is a dog rescue. We're foster based in Orange County and we were founded in late 2010. And so to date we've rehomed about eight, over 1800 dogs. And we've also rescued over 70 Parvo puppies from the shelter that would have otherwise been euthanized. And um, one of the things that's important to us is to educate uh, people that it could be completely avoided by just doing the vaccine protocol with your puppies, starting that DHP vaccine at eight weeks old. So Love Bugs Rescue is launching a spay neuter voucher program. And so what we wanna do is help subsidize some of the costs of the spay neuter procedures to low income families. So that way we can help um, prevent unplanned births and litters in the communities. Our adoption process is to visit our website and all of our available dogs are on our adoptables page. And the first step would be to complete our adoption application, which is online. And then one of the foster homes reviews all of those applications and then we would be in touch with the families. So ways that you can help Love Bugs Rescue are by fostering is obviously the lifeline of our rescue. We always need new foster homes and we um, have an application online and basically a foster commitment can last anywhere from two weeks to two months um, maybe a little bit longer depending on the type of dog and what the dog's needs are and um, you can also volunteer in other ways by coming to some of our events and helping out with the dogs or you can um, do photography or we always need um, videos of our dogs done there's just so many ways to help so if you want to join our team visit our website at lovebugsrescue.org. So this little scruff muffin is Bert and he's available for adoption with Love Bugs Rescue. So Bert is one of our Parvo survivors. He was rescued from the Merino Valley Shelter. He's about eight months old and he's only eight pounds and he's just full of love and just really, really a sweet little boy. He is gonna do great in most any type of home situation. We would love a home with another dog for him so he can play. And we would love someone who is dedicated to doing a little bit of training because every puppy needs a little bit of training. Uh, maybe a little confidence building for him because he's a little shy as well. But overall, he's a great dog. He's fully vetted and ready for his forever home. This little cutie is La Flocka, and she is a six-year-old, 13-pound rat terrier. She's got the most adorable little cow prints all over her and her ears are to die for if she'll put them up for us. She's so cute. La Flocka came to us from an owner surrender situation when she had an accidental litter and she basically, um, you know, had these puppies and we took the whole family in. All of her puppies have been adopted and now it's La Flocka's turn. And with La Flocka, she is integrated into her home. There's both big and small dogs in there and she gets along wonderfully with dogs. She loves other dogs. She is super smart and treat motivated. We've been doing a lot of smart toy work with her and she's picked up on it really quickly. She um, is going to need a little bit of confidence building. She's definitely shy with new people. So a new home for her is just gonna have to understand that she's not gonna be snuggling on their lap night one, but usually within a couple days, she's relaxed and feeling safe. 
and she's pawing for attention. So we just need a family with a little bit less moving parts for her quiet home, maybe older kids, if any kids, but preferably just an adult only home and somebody who is just gonna be really patient and have a lot of love to give to this sweet little girl. And we promise that she's just gonna be your forever shadow. So this is La Flocka and she's looking for her forever home with Love Bugs Rescue. This little cutie is Giselle. Giselle is a 10 month old, 13 pound terrier. And um, she's kind of got a soft coat terrier mix. Uh, we're not sure what she's mixed with, but she certainly is adorable and has a lot of little white accents on her. So Giselle was hit by a car and um, we're not exactly sure um, what her history is, but she has her leg splinted right now and it's just a fracture. So we're expecting it to heal on its own. And Giselle um, is gonna get a follow-up in a couple weeks and then she'll be ready for her forever home. The type of home that's gonna work best for Giselle. She's a little tiny bit shy at first, but she warms up within seconds. So she, and she loves to give kisses. Um, she would do best with another dog. She loves other dogs, another confident dog. She'll probably need a little bit of confidence building and some training, but for the most part, she's super snuggly and sweet. Um, as you can see, I mean, we just met each other and she's already just really, really sweet and loving towards me. So I think she's gonna, adapt into a home really really quickly um, and just somebody who can hang out with her a little bit and spend some time because she obviously loves attention and snuggles. This little cutie is Angel and Angel was rescued from the Apple Valley Animal Shelter and she is only about four pounds and she is five years old. She's a long coat chihuahua. Uh, she is a purebred um, and her coat is going to need regular grooming and uh, maintenance, so um, just to keep it in pristine condition. Hi, sweetie. Um, she is definitely a shy little girl. Um, she was surrendered by her owner, and we really have no idea why anybody would give up this little powder puff. She is just, oh my gosh, to die for. So she's gonna need a little confidence building in her home and a home on the quiet side, probably with another little chihuahua or dog that she can pal around with. Um, she's just going to be perfect for the true chihuahua lover. She's so sweet. This little cutie is Penny, and Penny was turned into the Apple Valley Animal Shelter. Uh, she was surrendered by her former owner, and honestly, we have no idea why somebody would give her up. She is absolutely perfect. She's just one of those bomb-proof dogs that is going to fit into any type of home situation. Penny is a 10-year-old, 13-pound Basenji mix and um, she loves other dogs. She's super food motivated. She is easy to handle. She would be great in a home with adults or kids. Um, she would love another dog to pal around with. Um, she's super soft too, and she's just pretty low key. She likes laying in the sun, playing in the garden, at her foster home. She's just super, super low maintenance. If you are interested in adopting or fostering one of Love Bugs Rescue's dogs, please contact Love Bugs Rescue at lovebugsrescue.org or email them at info at lovebugsrescue.org. Those dogs are so cute. Now my co-host Popeye Cottontail is here to help me share some ways to have an excellent Easter with your pup. Here comes Popeye Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. Hippity hound, hippity hound, Easter's on its way. But don't worry because we have excellent Easter ideas for you and your canine companion. So our first excellent Easter idea is very exciting. It's to take your dog for a photo with the Easter Bunny. Because what is a better way to celebrate Easter than a photo op with the bunny himself? There are a couple places around town that you can take your dog to meet the Easter Bunny. Delamo Fashion Center is hosting two Bring Your Dog to Meet the Easter Bunny nights. The first one is Sunday, March 31st at 6 p.m. And the second one is Sunday, April 14th at 6 p.m. Popeye, which one do you want to go to? I have a feeling you want to go to both. <laughs> Our local PetSmart store on Sepulveda will also be having an opportunity to bring your dog to meet the bunny. Check their website or give the store a call to find out when. 
So of course, for Easter, you have to make your dog an Easter basket. Popeye looks forward to his Easter basket each year. All you'll need are just a few items. The first thing, oops, sorry Popeye. <laughs> the first thing is a basket, of course, and Easter grass. You're gonna wanna make sure to not let your dog eat any of this or, or kinda get a hold of any because it would be toxic to them. So if you're just careful, you can use some in the bottom just as a little bit of filler to make it festive. And of course, festive treats. I, oh yep, we're, we're excited about those. So just kind of a nice little treat for your dog. Normally I don't make Popeye's Easter basket in front of him, but, and of course, toys. So I have a bunny here, super festive, super cute. Uh-oh. And even this little festive rope toy, it's in really cute kind of springtimey colors, super, super festive. Just put those in there. And if your dog is like Popeye, then he will probably want to open the basket on his own. Popeye is professional at gift opening. And there you have it, a little Easter basket for your dog. Of course, you can you know, add more treats or more toys and, and kind of get creative with it as well. So another way to enjoy Easter or even just springtime in general is to take your dog out for the afternoon. You can either just go to the park, maybe play some Frisbee, go for a run, or even just have a picnic and hang out with your canine companion while enjoying nature and the beautiful season. Now, what is a better way to celebrate Easter than an Easter egg hunt, of course, and your dog deserves an Easter egg hunt too. Easter egg hunt for dogs is very much just like an Easter egg hunt for people. You're of course going to need Easter eggs. I got these regular old ones at the store. You're just going to want to make sure to get the right size Easter egg for your dog. So since Popeye is a larger dog, I got the larger eggs here for him. If your dog is smaller, you can use the smaller size ones. You're just gonna to wanna to make sure to get the proper size so your dog doesn't choke on them or eat the egg itself. It's very, very important. I wouldn't wanna give Popeye a smaller one like this because it might be just a little bit too small for him and could be a choking hazard. So make sure you get the right size for your dog and of course, don't let your dog eat the egg itself. That being said, the best kind of treats to use are training treats because they're a little bit smaller than regular sized treats, so you're not giving your dog a ton of treats during the Easter egg hunt. You can use small ones like this, even a little bit smaller than this works well too, and just put a couple in each egg itself. You're also going to want to make sure to count how many eggs you're hiding before you hide them. Just in case your dog does not find them all, you want to be able to go get it in the yard so you don't leave it there and it attracts other critters or bugs. Very important to count them before. Now, I'm going to go hide these eggs, don't let Popeye see, and then we'll let him hunt for them. If you give any of these ideas a try, reach out and let us know. You can tag us on social media using hashtag HippityHound. Those ideas will make Easter extra special. Now we're gonna take a short break, but don't go anywhere. There's much more doggone fun when we come back. The Dog's Way Home is the story of the extraordinary lengths a dog will go to in order to get back to their family. Every year, millions of dogs and cats end up in shelters and rescue groups. We found our Bella at a shelter in Tennessee. 
When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover they're all pure love. <laughs> adopt pure love and help a shelter pet find their way home at the shelterpetproject.org. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a unique mix of all kinds of things. Come on, Jules, spot on this last one. Uh, there it is. Keep going with it. Leo! <laughs> they're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. Welcome back to Canine Corner. I'm your host, Rhiannon Chertanich. PetSmart hosts National Adoption Weekend multiple times throughout the year at their stores nationwide. We stop by one of their Torrance locations to learn about the event. If you are looking for an event that is all about helping adorable pets find forever homes, then look no further than your local PetSmart during National Adoption Weekend. So National Adoption Weekend is a big part of PetSmart. It's quarterly, so it's four times a year. It's a huge event where Adoption groups come and promote all the dogs or cats or bunnies or whatever species they have up for adoption. National Adoption Weekend is part of the PetSmart Charities Program, which is dedicated to finding lifelong homes for every pet. We've had over 8 million, almost 8.5 million adoptions since PetSmart started this National Adoption Weekend. It's just, I think it's just an amazing opportunity for rescues to get out there and get their name out there and, and show everybody, you know, what they do. Over 15,000 pets nationwide find a home during each National Adoption Weekend, according to the PetSmart Charities website. And PetSmart is dedicated to helping pets get forever homes, not just during National Adoption Weekend, but all year long. The local PetSmart in Torrance has dog and cat adoptions every weekend. So we have um, a rescue group called Second Chance Rescue. It's a dog rescue group. They're here um, almost every Sunday. Uh, sometimes they're here Saturdays too. Um, no, normally they're here from like about 12 to 4. So it's pretty fun. They're here. We get a lot of people asking, you know, when are the dogs going to be here? When are the dogs going to be here? We get these really happy, excited kids that have come in. Um, the cats are here. We have this um, adoption center for the kitties. So they're here all the time, but they have a rescue group called uh, Carson Cats that's here. They'll bring more cats here um, on the weekends. They're mostly here Saturdays and Sundays, same thing, time frame from 12 to 4 and they'll have kittens here in cages, the ones that they bring from their foster homes and the kittens get rotated to, you know, display here and then go back to their foster homes so they get a chance to be out in the public and have fun. And the pet adoptions don't just bring happiness to the pets and their new parents, but to the employees of PetSmart as well. They'll ask numerous questions and the rest, either the rescue group can help or we can help answer any questions they have. It's, it's just a lot of fun getting to know these people and getting to know the dogs that they adopted and getting to talk to these people who just adopted, you know, a kitty or a dog and it's so much fun. Just the excitement you hear in their voice. PetSmart helps pet parents who recently adopted a rescue animal get started on the right paw. They have in-store adoption ambassadors like Brittany who can help pet parents know exactly what they will need to care for their new pet. We help these pet parents. So when they adopt an animal from a rescue, a shelter, or whatnot, they bring our, their paperwork from their adoption paperwork, and they get a free adoption booklet. And it has hundreds of dollars worth of coupons in there, free bags of food, free bags of, you know, buy one, get one free on treats, a bunch of different coupons. And what my role is, is I'll walk the store and I'll point out good foods that they can try out. It'll do like, you know, we'll offer off the little bags just to see if their dog likes it and then we'll go from there. Um, if they don't like it, they can return it and then we'll try a different food. So, and then I'll point out like beds and toys and different knickknacks that we think that the new pet parent would need for their new pet. The next National Adoption Weekend is happening at PetSmart from May 17th through May 19th. PetSmart is located at 3855 through 3859 Sepulveda Boulevard in Torrance. Give them a call at 310-316-9047 or visit PetSmart.com. 
Let's learn about our local PetSmart store and the services they offer. What products does PetSmart carry for dogs? So we do, um, I want to say, just your basic over-the-counter pet needs. So that ranges from uh, dietary needs. We do grooming needs, so brushes, nail trim stuff, um, or nail clippers. Um, we do also leashes, collars, so uh, we do anything that you might need to track your pet or make sure they stay with you. We do dog bowls, we do cat bowls, um, and litter, that's a big one. Dog beds, pretty much all your basic pet needs. Uh, and some supplements to keep them healthy, so anything you might need to do to boost their diet, uh, we have that stuff too. We have a ton of dog and cat food, uh, but we're here to help make sure you guys find the right food for your pet, uh, because there are a lot of options and it can get confusing. So anytime you feel overwhelmed in here uh, from all the options, just come grab one of us and we'll help you make the right selection. What are the different services offered at this PetSmart location? So having a pet is a huge responsibility and we're here to support those needs, any need you might have um, when it comes to taking care of your pet. So uh, grooming is a big one for our fluffy dogs. We're seeing a lot of multi-poos and doodles and all sorts of fun mixes, but um, it is important to keep their coats trimmed and clean, so that's a big one, um, helping out you guys uh, make sure their nails are trimmed. Um, as well as if you need to go out of town and need someone to watch your pet, we have boarding and daycare. Um, also right here in the store we have a pet hospital, so Banfield is partnered with us and um, we kind of make it an epicenter for all things you would need for your pet. What does the PetSmart training program help with? Seeing that it is adoption weekend, we want to make sure each pet parent is prepared uh, for bringing a new pet into their home. So sometimes it can be confusing for the new pet and um, people tend to jump into um, some old habits, I think. When having a new pet, it's important to implement new structures in the household. So we help educate those new pet parents on what the best boundaries and management and communication might be for their lifestyle and their new pet um, to help them get acclimated. So it's a really important step when bringing the new pets home. We also tie in all the basic sit, stay, wait, down. Uh, so they'll learn all that stuff too when it comes to training, but the biggest piece is making sure their pet parents are prepared. How does PetSmart help pet parents care for their pets? We try to make it really easy um, and have all the needs that they would need to set themselves as well as their pet up for success. Uh, it's really an epicenter for just getting started if, if you need. Um, so as well as we have experts in each area. So if one of uh, the associates that is helping them doesn't have the answers, we have people in all our services that would help get the details um, for that pet parent and their pet. PetSmart is located at 3855 through 3859 Sepulveda Boulevard in Torrance. Give them a call at 310-316-9047 or visit PetSmart.com. If you have a question, contact us and we'll be sure to get you the right answer. Call us at 310-618-5762 or email us at caninecorner at torrentca.gov. Now, if you miss the rescue pups at the beginning of our show, or if you're anything like me and want to see the adorable dogs again, here's your recap. Bird is an eight-month-old Yorkie mix. He weighs about eight pounds. He's a parvo survivor and was rescued from the Moreno Valley Shelter. He's a very sweet dog and would love a home with another dog. He can't wait to be your best friend. La Flocka is a six-year-old rat terrier. She was an owner surrender. She gets along with other dogs and is treat motivated. She's a little shy. She would do best in an adult's only home. She's a very sweet dog and would love to be part of your family. Giselle is a 10-month-old terrier. She is 13 pounds. She loves to snuggle and loves attention. She gets along with other dogs. She was hit by a car and has a leg fracture, but it is expected to heal on its own. And she'll be ready for her forever home. Angel is a five-year-old long coat chihuahua. 
She was rescued from the Apple Valley Animal Shelter. She's a little shy at first, but is a very sweet dog. Penny is a 10-year-old Basenji mix. She's a very mellow dog and gets along well with other dogs. She would do best in any type of home. She can't wait to be a part of your family. If you are interested in adopting or fostering one of Lovebugs Rescue's dogs, please contact Lovebugs Rescue at lovebugsrescue.org or email them at info at lovebugsrescue.org. If you want even more Canine Corner or just want to say hello or share a photo of your dog on an Easter egg hunt, we always love to hear from you. Be sure to like our Facebook page and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's all the time we have today. Thanks for joining us here on Canine Corner. I'm Rhiannon Tritanich and we'll see you next time.